Hello everyone and this is Serenis here back with another awesome Fortnite Battle Royale video for you guys today. And this time today guys as you can see from your screens and the title we are starting up Season 7 with the Dire Skin for my first win in uh, Fortnite Battle Royale for Season 7. And man this update has been uh, huge from Season 6 and we've got a lot to talk about today. And you shouldn't have. <laughs> I did pick up the pickaxe you shouldn't have, guys, the Christmassy one. The Christmas update, guys, I'm very happy with it, and I'm going to try and talk about all the awesome good Battle Pass stuff that they've, you know, things that they've done, and um, also what I feel about um, Fortnite over the Christmas period. But as you can see, I'm very much getting into it, and I'm very excited for Christmas, guys. I'm really going all out this year, I'm really going to enjoy my time with my family and friends, and, um, yeah, just really looking forward to the festivities. I hope everyone else is as well. And today to celebrate all. And, um, you know, obviously it's a bit of a sad time as well for my Jara Bro um, celebrities. Obviously not re not soon after him uh, selling his Xbox. But I felt in his, in, in his honour, in his memory, you know, Sensei taught me to uh, love Tilted Towers. So I thought I'd go there for this game and impress him. And um, <laughs> hopefully I do. Let me know, Matt, in the comments. But, um, yeah. Really good gameplay, um, really happy to discuss Season 7 to this really awesome game, it was a really nice um, win actually, I was really proud of this when I got it, and uh, just shortly after Season 7 started I got this, and uh, loved the Dyer skin as well, I have to say, um, didn't really get to use it towards the end of Season 6, I only just unlocked it. Uh, but yeah, really happy to have him and um, he really performs in this gameplay, and I have to say it's a really nice uh, skin actually, I really like it. So season 7 guys, Christmas, here we are, um, very exciting times ahead, um, obviously the Christmas skins and everything. I think the battle pass for season 7 overall fantastic, I have to say I'm not as in love with the skins as I have been with previous seasons, but the skin that really stands out to me is Sergeant Winter because I was wondering when we are going to get a Santa-esque uh, themed skin and we definitely got one in him and uh, fantastic. Um, you know, to, to be able to play as Santa, and I think that skin is going to be really popular. I do like Lynx and the, um, I think it's the Ice skin at the end of the Battle Pass, really good skins. Uh, but I think the main hype for this season is the fact that it's Christmassy and the snowy area is a lot of fun. I've been there recently, done a lot of good stuff. At this point here, just uh, dire entity surveying over his kingdom, looking for. Look at this guy he's getting into the Christmas season with a nutcracker. But sorry, mate, I got to crack your head with a few headshots there from the purple scar that I found on the floor at the beginning of this game. But um, <laughs> a nice start, starting kill for uh, dire entities, and um, it's a dire situation for the nutcracker. But you must be eliminated. And um, at this point here, I was just being a bit careful because I could hear builds um, just out to my outside, so I was being a little bit cautious there. But yeah guys, definitely the Christmas period, exciting times, um, whole different new areas to explore which is really nice, I think that's a good idea from Epic because it's quite a long period, you know, 80 odd days um, for this season, so definitely a good move on their part, I really like the Christmas areas. Um, I have found from my experience um, of going to particular parts, maybe I haven't got the right parts, but some bits are not actually quite bare with loot in some places and um, you know it threw me off a couple of times um, tried actually starting there for um, you know a game so I thought I'd have competition but to be honest with you um, you're better off just going tilted hence the reason I came here in this uh, gameplay today but um, I definitely use some of the things uh, that are Christmassy like the um, the sort of the you know the hang gliders I think that's really cool the magnetic things I'm not so keen on the planes if I'm honest um, planes are now in the game uh, more vehicular action um, the quad bike I really still don't like and yeah the planes don't really do much for me um, they can be easily destroyed but to be honest with you I just see them as a bit of a nuisance um, don't think it should be in the game but it is and um, you know it's something I have to deal with but I still love this game all the same and um, at this point here notice the guys fighting centre of Tilly so decide to get involved and uh, nice for me to get those minis I just wanted to take the time to apply them because it's been a while since I um, came to Tilted um, you know sort of um, you know getting used to it all again so I didn't want to rush out unless I was really certain I could you know get some slays but definitely like all my solo gameplays I like to upload to my channel now I always try to play aggressive um, you know to get the best out of myself and try and you know, go for hard kills that I think, you know, would be hard for me to get otherwise. And um starting to improve on some of my building capabilities as well. I do find there's a lot of a lot of people in Fortnite Battle Royale that are a lot better at building than I am. Uh, but I always try to put my core in and try to, you know, make it fun and exciting uh, with the building aspect of the gameplay as well. Um, so 
you know, by no means am I the worst builder, but by no means am I the best either. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of good builders in this game, but definitely keeping pace with them and trying to deliver some nice plays. There was a nice kill onto that guy there as he uh, got confused at the final hurdle. Um, it was weird how he just sort of randomly got behind me like that as well, because I sort of pinpointed him sort of further in from game sound. At this point here, obviously, I can hear the other guy at the bottom of the... Um, of this uh, house where actually Matt and I used to frequent uh, when we used to sometimes loop from Tilted, we would usually choose this building. Um, so just taking my sensei's training on board, what he would do in this situation, getting on the heels and uh, just making sure I'm dis not disturbed while I get this chest. At this point here it's really nice, I get some really nice awareness, next level awareness. I saw the guy running down the street there, I think it was the guy that came near me at this building. Um, I'm actually happy that he went there because now I've got three range of shots at him and look how easy that was. Um, <laughs> so lighting up tilted right now, getting a lot of kills guys. and. Um, boy did he add some loot and um, I'm like yeah I've got to get all this stuff and don't even take the time to arrange properly because there's so many good weapons out on this uh, you know a road of tilted towers right now and Dyer has to cover it you know he definitely wants to cover up uh, the evidence of what he's been doing in the moonlight but um, <laughs> but yeah no he's um, yeah they're definitely I should have closed that off a little bit more because um, that's like a beacon for people to come and um, at this point here I just take time to rearrange my weapons a lot of action there god what a good start that was um, definitely a lot of you know a lot of really good slays and at this point here I just wanted to take the time to rearrange the weapons to be honest um, so at this point here I can hear this other guy around me now um, put the trap down here because I can hear this guy faffing around I didn't want to make you know too many footsteps here because he'll have a pinpoint onto my location so also taking care not to switch weapon here because he's going to know exactly where I am as soon as I do that so at this point I can hear he's approaching the door I'm like oh my god he's coming in he's coming in and I think he knows that I know and um, at this point here I see him with something in his hand it looks like dynamite or a grenade so at this point here I decided to just go for it because I, I, I thought my cover was low and I don't think he saw the trap as well but eventually out playing there really nice shots around the wall um, able to hit him a couple of times not for the best damage but I think it would have frightened him and it sort of put him off there and I try to give him minimal time to think by putting the pressure on and just going for the extra shots there and finish him off nicely and um, just making sure he didn't destroy my trap is still there so I decide to leave it you never know it might bag me another kill um, <laughs> but at this point here as well just look continuing to loot so it's a really nice uh, set of plays you know really um, good action, you know, from Tilted. Um, you know, I've always tried to make the best of it in this area because, um, you know, Matt uh, definitely got me into it and told me not to have, you know, sort of a negative um, thought vibe on it. You do a lot better if you go into Tilted positive, and he's absolutely right. And I think in this gameplay, um, I was definitely, you know, having that positive mindset and trying to sort of, uh, you know, make sure I went for kills when I think I could get them, but also just, you know, sort of playing my own game as well, being strategic, you know, figuring it all out. Out, figuring out where everyone was at this point here it's really nice to find a poor fortress um, because I start to hear a player building around me and I think to myself you know sod it I'm just going to activate this thing he's going to be below me anyway so it's a fantastic thing to have got at that point because immediately it just buys me the high ground um, you know without having to do minimal effort I've got the launch pad anyway if it gets a bit hairy and at this point here just decide to build up a little bit on the structure and I start to hear him destroying something below me and it was my little wood structure that he did. Um, surprised that he just went for that and thinking that I wouldn't react. Um, he does some nice shots here to nearly catch me off guard. I'm glad that I got the drop on him there quickly and at this point here quickly use the campfire. Because in my experience in Fortnite, just bang your heels on as quickly as you can. You can see I put the, um, the roof up there and everything. And um, yeah, I got the cozy campfire going. And as soon as I do that, I start to hear grenades being chucked at me and I'm like... Oh my god, you know, there's always someone else around and this is why you have to be careful in Fortnite Battle Royale and um, as soon as I've got, you know, the bare minimum to get out of there, I'm like, yeah, sod it, I'm, I'm just going to go, this guy's going to find me, so decide to use my launch pad, obviously he can follow me there because he, 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 he I think he knew that there was someone there, but I just wanted to get away as quickly as possible and just relocate to a different house because... Obviously, in order for him to follow me, he's got to come with a pad to this house, and you know we go through the other uh, 
scenario again. You know, I can potentially place traps down in here. Eventually, I lose him. Um, another reason I wanted to get away from him as well, uh, you would have noticed we have this slight transition there, is I wanted to start my next recording. So his timing was like, you know, come on, bro, I'm trying to record this, you know, as I'm going along here to the Royale, just leave me in peace. Um, <laughs> so that was part of the reason why I sort of wanted to escape as well and not challenge on that occasion, because as I said, I'll always try and get the kills whenever I can, you know, to make the gameplay uh, more enjoyable, definitely. And also to bring myself on as a player in Fortnite Battle Royale, that's important as well. But, um, yeah, doing a bit of the old Kumbaya strategy that I developed with... Um, Harry the Gunda Dog and um, you know uh, Matt as well in the early days when I started when the Masters taught me how to play um, <laughs> that strategy wasn't developed by them by the way it was purely mine Kumbaya but um, they they sort of acknowledged um, you know the way that we used to play and, oh man Fortnite season two with uh, Matt and Harry or you know Harry and Matt uh, was just fantastic and it, maybe they'll comment in the comment section about those days but. Um, yeah, definitely, you know, fantastic times, and um, yeah, did used to have my kumbayas, uh, but, <laughs> but decide, you know, I think, I think of those days of where I've come on as a player, I'm like, no, 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 Matt, Harry, I'm going to get out there and explore the world, you know, there's 17 players left, I have five kills, I think, on the preview screen there, and, uh, you know, I've got to explore the world, Dyer's got to, you know, try and rip things up and um, finish this game strong, and he definitely does finish it strong, but um, as you can see as well, guys, you know, another nice thing that they did for Season 7, the uh, weapon skins, uh, let me know in the comments if you think you like these, um, I decided to put the more sort of festive paper ones on for Christmas, I really like the red though as well, but I thought for this gameplay, I don't know, I just thought the uh, festive paper looked a bit better with Dyer. And um, yeah, definitely um, nice to have weapon skins. It's interesting that they brought them into the game. Um, but yeah, definitely interesting. Uh, not as more sort of wraps than there are sort of gliders, which I thought was interesting. Uh, but yeah, definitely the battle pass in uh, Season 7 overall, I'm happy with it. You get a lot of stuff out of it, um, you know, a lot of V-Bucks. Uh, so it sort of pays back the 950 the investor the base cost, or even if you do 2,800, you get you know quite a lot of V bucks back. Um, so it's pretty good. Um, you know, like I said, not all the skins I like. Probably my favourites, probably off the top of my head, Lynx, um, the Ice King, and Sergeant Winter is fantastic. I also quite like Trog in the sense that you know the, 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 the sort of ice monster because he's very different to kind of other skins that we've had in this game. He's all, almost like the ice monster from. Um, uh, you know, like springs to mind, like Final Fantasy VI. I can't remember what that character's name is, but he's like a berserker, um, ice troll, or you know, in um, <laughs> or in uh, the Empire Strikes Back when Luke Skywalker is captured by that um, yeah, ice monster in that ice cave. He reminds me of that kind of thing. You know, I don't know, it's a bit a bit unrelated, but yeah, <laughs> he looks like one of them anyway. Uh, but yeah, definitely, Sergeant Winter is probably my favourite um, skin of the season. And funny because you unlock him at tier 23 in the battle pass. Um, so he's not like the main event, you know, it's the Ice King, which is also fantastic as well. I really like the red shade of him. But um, yeah, at this point here, guys, I know there was a guy on the hill. Um, you saw one of my favorite planes uh, coming into question there. So I was just being careful at this point to sort of survey my surroundings. Um, I've always said that I like to, you know, sort of know when I'm coming in from the zone. And um, obviously Fortnite being quite grateful to me. I've got 10 minis already, but there's more uh, <laughs> more on display there as well. So I decided to get some wood as well. I've got a good amount of materials across the board for this point in the game. Haven't actually had to build that much in this gameplay, actually. A lot of my um, kills in this game up until this point were just, you know, smart plays and good rotations from Tilted Towers. And sometimes that's all it takes. You know, if you can get those nice angles, get those people unaware, you know, it's, it's so golden if you get some nice shots at the start. At this point, I can hear uh, one of the guys using the um, the cable ride, the, uh, <laughs> the zip line, whatever you want to call it. Um, I really like these actually in game. I think they're a nice addition for Christmas. To be honest, it reminds me of a ski resort, like holiday type thing, and that's what you experience if you go to the um, Christmas side of the map. So actually, I quite like these because. You know, hey, we've got planes now. We've got, you know, things that make you fly in other ways. Here, I, I panicked a little bit, if I'm honest. <laughs> I thought the guy at the top saw me, so I was like, I wanted to sort of come off because I knew that, you know, I was on the path to, towards him, but I think he didn't see me and he was looking at something else. But I know there's definitely someone behind me, but at this point, I see where the zone is going and see that his part of the hill is not going to be in, so I decide to, you know, quickly use the opportunity to build. Um, obviously, don't know what this guy has, so I have to be careful as I'm doing this. 
but uh, we'll wait and see as he's starting to move in from the storm. I can see him here placing some really nice shots onto him and starts to throw the gas, but he's not done yet. He's going to make his way over to the great dire end of season. At this point here, so wanted to use the trap against him. I was a little bit slow after seeing my Celerities Manjaro uh, recent highlights video of the trap plays that he made in that uh, video. I just wanted to replicate, but I couldn't quite do it there. Sorry, Sensei. At this point, he pulls underneath me. Serenity's is getting a little bit sweaty here. He's done really well at Tilted Towers, but all of his good work could be erased. At this point, he just tries to heal, tries to get the minis on and reevaluate the situation right here. It's a do or die at this moment for Dyer. And at this point here, just being ever so careful to, uh, you know, not lose this Royale he's worked so hard for, but he, he's not off to a good start. He's landed some shots onto the guy, but um, at this point here, he needs to apply the, the pressure, you know, on the slow cooker onto the grill now. The guy's got the height on him. He does have rockets as well. I bear this in mind, so I start to build some flats above me because I don't want to get rocketed. And um, I can see that he has his rockets out, so I'm really panicking about that. And I'm like, this is this is all bad. I try to escape with a zip line. I don't quite manage manage it and <laughs> the magnet kind of throws me off proportions at this point I'm like I've got to run this guy's just gonna rocket me and at this point here you know the plane presents an opportunity to sort of fly away but I'm like no no I'm gonna stand here and fight like a man I know that he's really weak so I decide to stay and fight at this point here it's still not good for me because he's got these rockets above me on an elevation the zone's starting to come in can serenities can dire entities get him tear him up in time and at this point he makes the push gets out his rockets but serenities blams him gets the shotty shot on point and finishes him off very weak unfortunately can't grab the rockets there but just grabs the material and survives for another day and how does that guy feel sat back return to the lobby son this is dire entities royale and being ever so careful to move in here for the final circles to not get shot at but that was intense oh my god guys so at this point, guys, Dire Entities recuperating, realises, look at the top right of the screen, that there's six goons still left in the game. And at this point, surveying his kingdom, and he hears a commotion just underneath the hill right here and sees this as an opportunity because 19 health and 50 shield is not going to be prosperous. And at this point, he's ready to draw blood, sees the guy underneath here, looks to finish the job, but sees a snipe coming at him, and uh, sees a campfire that's about to be gobbled up by the storm and couldn't risk it because of that player that tried to fire the snipe and at this point here Dire Entities realises he's going to have to work a bit harder to get this awesome Royale with all the effort and uh, goodness that he did at Tilted Towers he starts to hear a noise that he does not want to hear and that's the sound of a grenade launcher fast approaching and at this point Dire Entities realises that things are looking pretty dire and he has to do everything he can to keep this going to keep his kingdom intact and you know he has to, he has to push back push this guy back and you know try and you know keep his keep his kingdom intact and you know keep his pride and you know he's fighting to keep this dream real and at this point he's being pushed back to the furthest bit of the zone I think he used all 12 spare rockets on me at this point it's another dire entities comrade and uh, Serenity's build gets a shot and then has to fight for every little shot here but he must be eliminated and dire entities gobbles him up for breakfast and at this point here he finds a slurp juice grabs that immediately because he needs to heal and at this point dire entities putting on those minis get everything on there quickly quickly and um, the final zone is going just beyond uh, near Salty Springs where the purple vending machine is by that shack and then Dire Entities can't even grab the gold grenade launcher that was there because he's just focusing on killing these final guys now and it's perfect, it's music to his ears, they're fighting it out, getting it out and at this point here Dire Entities realises he knows where the other one, last guy is at this point here he gets a bit excited and misses his shots unfortunately some bad shots there and uh, gives the opportunity for this guy to make a bit of a fight back with the quad launcher but Dire Entities is still in this he's he's just got attacked with the gold scar here and that's what he thinks to himself he's trying to make his way from the storm and there we go, there's the shots that needed to, needed to be hit and at this point here he puts more pressure the guy's still got to come in from the storm getting ready with the gold scar here again some sloppy misses but eventually finding the ones that count and there you go dire entities getting the graffiti on the sign of the wolf and wait for it oh that's just beautiful oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> a little golf clap to finish after the howl, the cries of the werewolf. And um, definitely he was proud of that with the, uh, <laughs> the golf clap, man. It's brilliant. And um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. A really nice gameplay here. Nine kills. And I think Dire Entities was very happy with this one. And uh, whoo! <laughs> Oh dear, I can't do that. Um, <laughs> but I did well here today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this gameplay. I really like the dive skin. One of, um, yeah, definitely another great final battle pass skin. I really hope you guys enjoyed him at his best. And uh, can't wait to start with Sergeant Winter and um, his solo gameplay before Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. But uh, anyway, guys, this was Dire Entities. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.